Now whether you're trying to troubleshoot problems with your computer or you want to learn more about it, Windows 7 has the Help and Support Center, which is found down here by clicking on the Start button. Over in the Start menu to the right hand side, go ahead and click on Help and Support and it brings it up. Now there's a shortcut key that you can use to bring up the same window here. Let me go ahead and close out of it. And that's first by finding a blank area somewhere on your desktop. Go ahead and click on it. Yeah, click on the blank area and then go ahead and hit the F1 key on the keyboard and it brings it up. Now the reason why I had you do that is because if you have any other program or window that's open and you hit the F1 key, you'll get the Help and Support Center, but for that particular folder or program that you have selected and not the computer, which is what I want. That's why I selected a blank area on my desktop. So for example, if I come down here and click on the Internet Explorer button, open up the program, and then I hit the F1 key, it brings it up here, and I can read and learn more about the Internet Explorer program. When I'm done, I can go ahead and close out, and then close out of the window here, and then of course to bring it back up, click in a blank area on the desktop and hit the F1 key. Again, only if I want to bring up the support center for my computer. I'm going to come up here and double click really fast on the title bar to maximize the window to fit the screen. Now my computer was manufactured by HP, so your screen may look a little bit different here. Some of the basic elements of getting started, how to burn CDs and DVDs. But you should have a search help box that I'm going to come up and click in it and type in. Type in keyboard shortcuts and then all I have to do is hit the enter key on the keyboard or come over here and click on the search help button and when I do, it gives me the search results, and you can see I've been here before, at least I'm looking for keyboard shortcuts, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And if you get to another page that's, I don't know, really long, or you've got a lot of search results, and you want to quickly go to the keyword, you can bring up the Find box, and you can do that by either holding down the Control key and hitting the letter F, and it brings it up to find a keyword, or, let me close out of it, you can come up here and click on the Options drop-down arrow, and click on find on this page and it brings up the same box. Now in the find box field go ahead and type in your keyword or keywords. You can see because I have this box checked by default highlight all matches it highlights all the uh, shortcut keywords. Now if I only had a few of them and my page was several miles long instead of scrolling scrolling I can just go ahead and click next and it'll jump to the next keyword. So that way if the next keyword was several pages down then I can click next and it'll jump to that page. Makes it easier. But this page right here is just a single page. It's not too difficult to find what I'm looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of it. And it's right here, General Keyboard Shortcuts. I'm going to click on the link and, well, scroll down by clicking and dragging my vertical scroll bar. When I click and drag that, hold it down, I can reveal more of the page. And there we go. F1 displays the help. Control C, copy a selected item. Control X to cut it. Control V to paste it, and so on. When I'm finished, I can either hit the back arrow and go back to the previous page and then click back to go to that previous page. You can also go forward, just like when you're searching the internet, you have those backwards and forwards buttons. Or you can come over here and click on the home button and it takes me back to where I first started. And then finally, if you're not finding what you're looking for, you can come up here and click on the ask button. It takes us to a contact support page. Now this is for HP. So if I need to give them a call, I can click on call and it doesn't dial it for me. It opens up a window and it gives me the number and I can go ahead and give them a call. Close out. You can also chat with them online, go to support forums, ask a question there, type on a blog, and hopefully somebody will answer you. And when I'm done I can come up here and either click on the home button to go back to the start or just go ahead and close out. Now if you do have an HP computer, this is for HP users only, so you can go ahead and stop the video. But you can hold down the control key, the alt key, and hit the letter S key. And it will bring up a little window that will give you the model, serial number, product number of your computer. So if you ever call HP for support and they need that information, you can go ahead and, again, the shortcut keys are control, alt, S. Otherwise, you can look on your computer box and there should probably be a sticker there that gives you the serial number of your computer. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.